Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster from English No Crew. So, if you have not noticed, we have been super busy as of late with the launch of Sound School 3.0, not to mention taking care of 11 dogs and a huge farm and teaching classes, among other things. So, we have been slacking a little bit on our podcast game. I promise everything will be back to normal on Monday and you will have our usual daily awesome episodes of English no Kuru Haju. But in the meantime, I thought it would be cool just to do a couple of mini episodes with some personal tips, techniques, just things and recommendations that I use personally when I am learning and studying languages. So let's call them hacks. Um... That sounds good to me. Yeah, hacks. So, welcome to this first episode in the mini series that I am creating right now English to Crew Hacks. And as always, this show is made possible by Cambly. Cambly is literally the coolest way to speak to native speakers whenever you want, wherever you want. They have the most flexible plans of any English company I have ever seen on the internet, and they're just good people. So go to Cambly.com and use the code EnglishNuKru to get your first class for free. Okay, back to EnglishNuKru hacks. Let's see how this goes. So first of all, the word hack, it's like a tip or, I don't know, um, like a shortcut. Maybe like sacada in Portuguese. That might be a good translation. And my first hack is using Google Docs to improve and check your pronunciation. So first of all, if you are not using Google and Gmail, stop what you are doing right now, stop listening to this episode, and get a Gmail account. It amazes me how many of my students, how many Brazilians are still using Hotmail or Yahoo or AOL or something like that. Come on, guys. It's 2018. Get with the program, get a Gmail account, it's the best. So here we go. If you have a Gmail account, this means that you have access to Google Docs, Google Documents, which is more or less for the uninitiated. It's pretty much like Microsoft Word, except a million times better because you can collaborate with people in real time. You can share things. It's all in the cloud, so you don't use storage on your computer and thousands of other cool features. But the coolest thing about Google Docs, the thing that I want to talk about today is Google voice typing. So it's really simple. It's just your normal voice dictation, just like Siri on your iPhone, but way, way better. So Siri never understands what I'm saying. I literally scream at my iPhone and she is still like, sorry, can you repeat that again? But Google voice typing is much more sophisticated. It's much more accurate. It's awesome. So I first became interested in voice typing to make the process of transcribing these episodes that you are listening to right now, these episodes of English no Kuruhaju, much faster and much easier. But then, then I realized... Voice typing is also super useful for practicing language and especially for training pronunciation, which we are super passionate about here at English no Kuru. So here's what you do. You open a Google document, then you click on tools, and then you click on voice typing. Pretty easy, okay? Next step you put on a podcast or a YouTube video or anything that you want to watch on your phone or listen to on your phone, and you use headphones while you are listening. Then, when you are listening to the audio or video, just repeat out loud in voz alta at the same time. So, for example, what I do is I listen to a podcast in Portuguese. By the way, my favorite Brazilian podcast is is Projeto Humanos, and the episode starts, and the guy, the host, he says something like, Olá pessoal, seja bem-vindo a mais um episódio de Projeto Humanos, 
histórias reais, de pessoas reais, ou alguma coisa assim. And the words just magically appear in the document. So if you're having problems following the audio, you can slow down the audio, you can start at 50% of the speed, and then continue to get faster and faster. You can slow down the speed with podcast or on YouTube, so that is not a problem. And that's it. It's really awesome. You can see your mistakes in real time. You can see when you're really not understanding a word correctly. And most importantly, you are practicing your pronunciation at the same time. It's more or less like having a native speaker check your pronunciation in real time. It's kind of scary. It makes me think that I will not have a job in a couple of years. But it's pretty cool. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back tomorrow with another hack. I hope you liked this episode. And again, back to normal scheduling on Monday. That's it. Until then, take it easy. I will see you guys tomorrow.